Today we're going to go over a song that I just discovered, although it came out like eight months ago, it looks like the music video. Uh, it's Until I Found You by Steven Sanchez, and it's a great like 1950s nostalgic feeling song, but it's been made eight months ago, he wrote it. It's pretty much just like a verse progression and then a chorus progression, and there's a couple of notes. There's like a little guitar solo thing that's like, we're not going to go over um, it's pretty much just the chord progression, and he adds just like a couple of notes. It's like one of the simplest guitar solos you could probably do. So I challenge you to listen to that. Once you know the chords, try to then figure out the notes to the solo on your own. But let's get right into the uh, chords in the verse. Here we go. So you will see that I have a capo on the electric guitar. Forgive me. I don't know. I just I didn't feel like getting my acoustic for today's video. So we have a G chord. <laughs> Then a B minor, and then a C chord. And if you listen, if he switches from C to C minor, um, and as it goes, so it goes kind of like this. That's like one take of it, right? You can see that little. Uh, we call that mode mixture when you use the major four and then the minor four. If you're a music theory nerd out there, um, the C is the fourth in this key. So, so C to C minor, then back to G. Sounds like this, right? So um, I'm just using a clean tone for today. They have a little bit of that rotary kind of wobble when you listen to the music video. And so you could, you could throw that on there to really get the sound if you're after it. Um, so you have that G chord. And it does G twice, so we're also in that sort of uh, like perfect by Ed Sheeran. If you saw that video I made, um, in that triple feel, so like 12 8, so like oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six. Da, 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 da. Kind of like that dancey sort of waltz feel. Um, 6 8, 12 8, however you feel it, it doesn't really matter as long as you're playing it in rhythm and in time. So it does G twice, so one, two, then one B minor, then the C major to C minor. And then it goes back to the G. So it's gonna do that two times, and then it's gonna go to a D chord and kind of sound like this. chord and that brings us to the first chord of our chorus. So it's going to go C, D, G, B minor. So the chorus is going to go C, D, G, and B minor. So all one measure of this one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so really we are in six, eight since it's that's the length of the measure. So it's going to be C, then to the D. And when I do these arpeggiations, I'm not really being super scientific or anything. Um, I just hit the bass note on beat one and then and then a collection of the upper notes for my uh, two, three, four, five, six. So. Then after the D, it goes to the G. Then to the B minor. And so that's what that sounds like in the chorus. And so does that again, but goes into a G7. It sounds like this. D. G. To the G7. Do that there. So if I play the chords on their own. G. G7. Just like that. And then it goes to C again. G, B minor, then it goes to C, and C minor like that. So at the very end you do two, 
measures of the C, two measures of the C minor. And that's the chorus, and then it goes back to the verse, and then the song pretty much just goes verse, chorus, uh, verse, chorus, chorus. And then there's that little instrumental kind of guitar solo you can listen to on your own. So let's do a quick recap of the verse, right? And I'm just going to play these single chords with no strum pattern. G, G, B minor, to C, C minor, G, G, B minor, C, C minor, G, G, B minor, C, C minor, G, G, so D, D. Then it goes into the chorus where we have C, B minor and to C D and G G7 then C then D then G then B minor then C bar chord C bar chord then C minor and then it would end up on G once you're done with the song so Pretty easy song. The one thing I will say is that in the in the beginning of the chorus you use a open C shape, but most other places you're gonna need to do the bar shape. So that way you can get down to the the minor mixture in there. So C and that's why the bar chord is kind of required, even though we have the capo. Um, it's just a little bit awkward in that regard. So that's a pretty simple one for today, Until I Found You by Steven Sanchez. Um, if you like that sort of older feeling uh, music, then uh, this is definitely the song for you. If this video is valuable to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos I'll be posting in the future. And leave a comment below, like the video below to let me know what you think. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you on the next one.